Right, welcome back to the Average Golfers channel and today we're going to be looking at driver shafts and we're going to see is it a myth do they actually make a difference one is 60 grams stiff the other is 45 grams lady shaft how much difference is there going to be in terms of performance right so the first question is what are the differences with these drivers apart from the weight well the major difference is the length of the shaft there's an inch difference between the ladies and the men's driver shaft there's also a slight difference in terms of the kick point but we're not going to get into all that kind of detail but the important thing is is what does it mean in terms of results what will it mean in terms of club head speed what will it mean in terms of ball speeds and then what will it mean in terms of dispersion and control of that driver head now the first thing is, is I want input from you. What are you expecting to see? Because I know there's, um, there's a large majority of people who think there's a myth behind the shaft and how much part it plays in terms of our performance. I'm of the opinion that driver shaft, shaft club in general, makes a massive difference to your performance and is the key element, in my opinion, of custom fit. But that's just my opinion. I want to know what yours is. Right, so we're going to back all this up with data, obviously. I'm going to start with the lighter shaft. Don't forget, 45 grams, shorter shaft. And the head we're going to use is the, uh, the Big Bertha B21 driver head, which I found really kind of user-friendly this year. I mean, here's a couple of balls. We've got a fairway set up at Paris International because we're going to do, first of all, maybe not all out in terms of pace, but if I've got to find a fairway off the tee, and we're going to get more control with this shorter shaft. So it's all about whether or not we can find a slight dog leg left to right and see if we can hit a fairway first of all i'll also tell you what i noticed as soon as i've got the shaft in my hand i think that should be over the corner of the that's a pretty solid drive to be fair is it going to carry well it's over we've got kind of i'll look at the numbers on this one later but i think that's about that's 220 odd carry Pretty much what I'd expect, so we'll just make a slight alteration with our aim and see if we can get that one finding the kind of middle. I'd certainly take what we've just uh, what we've just hit there. That's further down the left. So that's down the left hand side. If anything, there's just a bit of left to right on the ball flight. Bang in the middle of the fairway. The first thing I will tell you is this: putting this shaft in hand, club in hand it feels incredibly light and it just encourages i don't know i always think this is a weird thing is it encourages a more slower rhythmical swing as odd as that may sound it just is, it encourages you i mean if you see the sort of flex in this shaft oh you can pick that up it, it looks like i mean i lent on it earlier i thought it was going to snap it in half and it sort of like i said it gets you to slow down but what i've not seen yet and we'll get to it later is a real drop off in club head speed even though i feel like i'm swinging a whole lot slower right i've just changed the shaft um and just to let you know ten and a half degree drive ahead obviously that's not changing uh stated loft neutral in terms of the setup so there's no changes there whatsoever um but yeah first things that a massive noticeable difference and certainly from changing from one to the other is the actual weight of the club itself i always get confused with this because 15 grams difference seems very minimal in terms of um, a shaft weight or uh, an additional weight but it makes a massive difference and the biggest difference in the swing for me is that when you're at the top of the swing you just seem a whole lot more effort is required to get that uh, club head back down to the starting position and trying to square it up at impact but that's just straight from one to the other same fairway see what we can do in terms of uh, finding it with this shaft a solid strike again slightly down the right hand side it's almost identical to the first shot that we played there with the lighter shaft i don't think Will be a great deal to split them whatsoever i don't can't remember the carry distance but there's yards to split them we'll make that same sort of uh adjustment clearly leaking slightly down the right see if we can find the middle that's better or i mean they're almost like a replay of each other in for in terms of the first two shots so I don't think there will literally be a yard or two separating those two. 
But the one notable thing is, and I'm almost out of breath, is what you don't realize is how much more effort's required with that 60 gram shaft. So straight away, I would think that kind of from a tempo perspective, it loses it slightly. So whereas again, go back to the first club that I hit or the first shaft I hit, that 45 gram shaft, I feel really in charge of the club head. I feel as though I'm swinging nice and easy. Whereas with this shaft, the one noticeable difference in hitting the ball is that extra bit of effort required. And I don't know whether that's good or bad. I don't know whether, again, it slightly forces you a little bit. Right, so I've gone ahead and collected data with both clubs. And that one overriding thing that keeps coming back to me is the amount of effort that's required into swinging both of the clubs. And in all honesty, collecting 10 shots with that heavier shaft, it just means that extra effort was required. I recognize that. And what I mean by that, it's not an energy thing. It's not like you're struggling with this club. Like I said, I don't want to exaggerate. This is 15 grams worth of difference in the shaft weight. But it's noticeable about how much effort was required to get that club head through. I go back to the initial question. People say that club uh, shaft rather just play um, not a great part in, uh, in this whole process. And I would say it's a massive difference. My question is to, to me on a personal level is what do I want to feel like on that first tee? Do I want to feel like I've got to go after a ball in terms of the shaft that I've got in? Or do I want to feel like I can just stroke the ball away and take it nice and easy? And then I think later on in the round, the only other thing I'd be questioning is reversing that. And when I'm warmed up and when I'm three, four, five holes in, you want to really go after a drive and you feel like, you know, you're swinging the club well, you're hitting driver well. It's at that time you want to just try and um, really go after one. Would that light shaft make such a difference then? And that's a question I'm still not sure of. Now this video is all about people who've got A, an open mind and a B, a like to be data led because this is where it gets really interesting and it certainly tells a tale. And one that shocked me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. I think for me, I said the sort of 60 gram stiff shaft is something that I was perhaps using maybe two or three years ago. My swing speed has definitely altered slightly. My current driver shaft is 50 gram regular and again i made that change simply because of well what's happened in this data and it's a real sort of uh well it's an eye opener to say the least but let's have a look at the first of all let's start with that 60 gram stiff shaft which if i'm honest with you was a little heavy for me did struggle with it and it's more to do with showing the difference between the two. They're almost extreme. So look at that 93 mile an hour club head speed. Don't forget this was the inch longer shaft. 93 mile an hour club head speed, ball speed 135, spinning 3000 revs, an average of 217 yards, which was really low indeed. And a peak height 84 um, feet, which was again, it was a fairly low ball flight very quickly switch over to that light 45 gram ladies shaft which was one inch shorter than normal club head speed became one mile an hour faster now that again defies logic to me because we've got the longer shaft in theory we should be generating more club head speed well it didn't happen we generated more with that lighter shaft so that's the first telltale sign Ball speeds, 140 ball speed on average compared to 135.9. Now, apart from the fact that we were generating a little bit more club head speed, it suggests we are finding the middle of that club face a little bit more often as well to gain as much as five mile an hour. Then you've got that spin rate, 3147, almost similar. And again, if you go across the averages, you could pick, pick holes in any of that, but it's very, very similar indeed. But in that carry distance of 225, again, not the longest driver I've ever hit, but don't forget this is swinging very much within yourself about finding fairways, trying to be accurate and remain controlled. But at 225, look at the list of, uh, what is it, one to nine there. They're almost identical in terms of the carry distance. Launching at 14.4, very similar, but a peak height of 98, again, slightly higher spinning on this on average. Then I'm going to finish off with this one, which is the dispersion chart. The red dots that you're looking at now are again with the ladies 45 gram shaft and the blue dots are that of the 60 gram stiff. And you see that on all ends up in performance, in terms of ball speed, in performance, in terms of carry, then in terms of control and dispersion, the ladies 45 gram shaft was by far the better performing shaft. And for me, it shows a couple of things. Is one that shaft makes a huge difference in your performance and the club 
that you use, the driver that you choose, it cannot be any more black and white. The differences are massive there. But it also doesn't matter what your perception is of what your swing speed is, what you're kind of like always used to playing. In my case, for years, I always used a stiff driver shaft. And clearly, again, whether things have changed over the years, I don't know, but it's just about being open to the fact that there are other options in there that may prove more beneficial for you. And that's that thing about if you go and get custom fit, I can't stand this idea of anybody who starts off directing you towards a shaft type based on your swing speed with your current driver that you have in the bag and that's a no-no for me wherever it starts from yes start there but be very open and ask to try a number of different shafts at either end of the spectrum to make sure you're definitely getting the best custom fit for you big eye opener like i said i wasn't quite expecting those results i swung the club like i said nice and easy i hit the ball reasonably well today as well in terms of finding uh, fairways fairly straight more than happy with performance and i think that was a fair assessment of those two driver shafts and like i said a real shock and hopefully opens the eyes to what you're going to maybe try next time you go and get custom fit that's me finished nice and easy that one no more i can go it's not a complicated review very simple and straightforward data led as i said uh right hit that like button comments down below would like to know your findings if similar or if totally different either way put them in the comments i'd love to hear from you and uh, i'll see you all soon